为新娘选出你心目当中的冠军吧！投票开始。看我。Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Divorce Plaintiff, and this is my review of Bride Wars. Bride Wars is a China remake of a 2009 American film of the same name. The American version. Made money, but not a lot of money. The critics hated it, so at least this China remake has a pretty low expectation bar, which is good because it makes it over the bar by about this much. It's probably not a surprise to any of you that I'm not a fan of rom-coms or chick flicks or movies about weddings, but I was offered a ticket to see this movie, and I took it. Because the only thing sleazier than someone who does something distasteful for money is someone who will do it for free. Angela, baby, and Mimi play two besties who have an ideal life. They're young, pretty, and have boyfriends so passive that I'd have sworn they were eunuchs. But what's that loud ticking sound? Oh no, it's the metaphorical twin clocks of biology and culture. If these two don't get married soon, they won't be married. So they quickly and asexually, since this is China, manipulate their boyfriends into getting engaged and set about planning the best weddings ever. But wait, the flaming stereotype of a wedding planner fucks up. There's only one perfect wedding date. And two bitches who want it for themselves. Cue the backstabbing, nastiness, false indignation, and all the other unrealistic nonsense that these movies, no matter their country of origin, are overstuffed with. And let's face it, we all know where this story's gonna end up. So if we know the destination, all that's left is to watch the journey. And see how much we like or dislike it. And as I noted before, it would be unfair to expect too much of a remake based on a mediocre film. The nicest and probably most accurate thing I can say about Bride Wars is that it's probably just as good as the American version. I say probably because I haven't watched the American version. And if you think I'm going to, you can piss up a rope, pound sand, and eat shit.、Uh, where were we? In terms of execution, I can't really say anything bad about Bride Wars. It looks nice, and it obviously had a decent budget, and they weren't afraid to spend money. There were a few times that I sincerely laughed. The two grooms, when they're given the rare opportunity to be on the screen and open their mouth, were actually entertaining and funny. I liked the Huang Xiaoming cameo in the opening of the film because that was the only time I had to look at him. Why was he there? I don't know why, but I do know that he and Angela Baby, who was also in the movie, recently got married, and and weddings are expensive, and movies about weddings probably involve people and companies who do weddings, and they may be glad to have a famous person endorse them. Now I'm just being catty. <coughs> There's a lot of Tiny Times-esque wrongness on display in Bride Wars: horrific materialism, completely shallow personality, the joy and emotional value of credit card abuse, the necessity of binge eating, the assumption that self-worth has a literal dollar sign. It's all here, but it's in the original too, from what I've read. And in that sense, I must admit, in a rather sarfty fashion, Bride Wars makes a pretty good argument for the de-Westernization of Chinese young people's minds and the eradication of capitalist influence and Western taint. <laughs> But as long as we're talking about cultural representation in film, I really enjoyed the wedding day morning sequences. They show some of the traditions of Chinese weddings, and I found it not just informative but entertaining. I liked the use of CGI in the movie, not just because it was sparing, but because when it occurs, it also makes narrative sense, and it looks good. It was nice to see that corner not being cut for a change. There is a good amount of overstated humor in the film. But again, if you watch a Hollywood movie, you'll see a lot of the same thing. Most comedies aren't made for New York or Shanghai. They're made for what the Chinese call third-tier cities. You know, like Mobile, Alabama. If I say that I disliked Bride Wars, it has nothing to do with the country it was made in. It's just a disposable rom-com, which I'm not a fan of. It's glossy, dumb, and empty, which can be said. Not only of Hollywood movies, but of Hollywood itself. I can't really say I enjoyed this movie, but at the same time, I can't really say it's bad. I mean, it's predictable and it's dumb and it's lazy. But like I said, we get a lot of those all over the world. If you want to watch this movie, go see it in a cinema, or wait till you could rent it or buy it. Don't steal this movie. When it gets released to home video, I'm going to update the description with a link where you can buy it. 
If you enjoyed my review, tell me. If you didn't, tell me. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again shortly.